Hey everybody, welcome. I am so delighted that you are here and I am back to talk about one of my favorite things, Pensacola Beach. And I wanna show you some of the updates on Pensacola Beach. There's a lot of stuff happening. Plus we're gonna talk about the bridge. We're gonna share some holiday cheer at the end in our charming downtown Pensacola. So I hope that you come along. Let's go check it out. All right, and of course we're gonna head down to Pensacola Beach. You guys, December is a good time to come and visit the beach. If you like ocean, if you like sunshine, if you like sunsets and beautiful weather without a lot of people, December is a really nice time to come down here. Of course, you may not want to swim. For me, it's a slightly chilly, but there are some hardy folk out there that can handle that. It is lovely though, the sunshine is warm. So even if you were just sitting out here, it is lovely. We've had like mid 70s in December here. So I would definitely encourage you to come to Pensacola, come and enjoy some of this beautiful ocean. And we're gonna check out the Pensacola Beach Boardwalk. And there's a lot of changes happening here. But first I wanna talk about the Ron John Surf Shop. They're actually adding a second location. So one is complete right now and one they are building and it's pretty great. It's gonna expand uh, a lot of shopping for that store and I'm sure everybody's gonna appreciate that. Next is Captain Funds and this is closed, but I don't know what is going in here. So it's a really big location, but it does need some improvements. I know that uh, they have multiple buildings that they used, and there used to be like a upstairs outside that they would use, but this is closed now and I'm excited to know what's gonna be going in here. All right, and lastly, on the very end of the boardwalk is what they had as castaways, and it's been empty for quite a while. They've actually like gutted it, and it's kind of down to the bones, and they're kind of rebuilding it, and it's gonna be Whiskey Joe's. And I actually started looking around and looked at the Escambia website, and they are, they're registered as an approved plan for Whiskey Joe's. It's gonna be a fun little spot. And yes, they are completely renovating it. I cannot wait to see what this is gonna be looking like. The website for the other locations looks like a lot of fun. And it looks like they're completely rebuilding this patio out back here. And also I noticed some palapas and picnic tables. So I think they're gonna have a really good place for lots of fun. I'm gonna walk around the other side too so we can see what is happening. What's the progress on this building from the other side? Also, I noticed that they are hiring an events coordinator and a store manager. So apparently they're doing some early hiring to get this place up and running as soon as it's ready. So that is really exciting. I cannot wait to see what this place provides us and I'm sure it's gonna be a blast. Arden Felix Restaurant and Oyster Bar is open, you guys. It's on the boardwalk. I haven't had a chance yet to get there to try it out, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about a couple of hotels, one of them being the Holiday Inn Express. And this one actually was closed for quite a while. They were doing some renovations. They were actually pulled things out of the hotel and they were lined up on the parking lot. It was gated off and it was closed for quite a while, but it is finally open. It has a great location and it has a nice pool. Of course, it's right on the Gulf, so that's awesome that it's finally open. All right, and one last thing is there is a new tower going in. It is the Old Best Western, and there's just starting the tower now, but of course it's a construction zone. <laughs> but I'm excited to see what we get there. That's gonna be fun. All right, and Native Cafe, you guys, is a local's favorite cafe. They have breakfast all day. They're very, very popular. They're taking over the next door space so they will be doubling in size, which is amazing. I'm sure people are very excited to have way more room in that little cafe. It's gonna be amazing. Next, we're gonna talk about the sign side parking. There was a huge parking lot there that they were redoing. It was closed for quite a while, but it has a playground and they've redone this whole thing. So it's really nice and spacious and open. And at the end of the parking lot, 
There's the J.P. Morgan Botanical Garden and Memorial Park, and it's just a small little park where you can walk through on these paths through the trees, and there's, you know, bird watching items and benches, so it's just really small, but that is now open as well. The Pensacola Roundabout, and who knew we would be talking about this, but actually I think it's great. It connects the 17th Avenue, Bayfront Parkway, and also the bridge itself, and there is no stoplight. It used to be a stoplight, so of course we are very happy that it is a roundabout. It gets us moving quickly and across that bridge where we need to be, and then of course coming back, there is only one stoplight between the Gulf Breeze and the highway to get onto 110. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's great. Next, we're gonna talk about the Pensacola Bay Bridge. And it looks like we're gonna have one more summer season until the other half of the bridge is complete. The time frame at this point is mid to late 2022. And of course, we did have damage on this side of the bridge when it was completed shortly after we had the hurricane and the barge that was pushed into the bridge that they had to fix. So they fixed that. Unfortunately, the walking and the biking paths are not done yet. And I know a lot of people really like to have that available. So hopefully they'll work on that as well soon. But we are looking forward to the other half of that bridge. Unfortunately, it's just gonna be a little bit of a wait for us to be able to have that side. I'm so excited to show you downtown Pensacola. So just in general, downtown Pensacola is so cute and charming. It's awesome. It's one of the reasons why I fell in love with Pensacola. But in December, they decorate it. They have it all decked out and they have parades. They have a whole lighting festival to light up the city. So every year, everybody comes out on Palafox to celebrate the lighting of this entire city. And it's beautiful. And if you know me, I love the lights. I, one of my favorite things to do in December is to drive down Palafox when it's all lit up at night because it is just adorable and beautiful. And I just, you know, I'm so impressed with Pensacola. <laughs> Pensacola has so many different festive events in December, which is amazing. One of my favorite things to do is to come out to Sowell Farms, and it's not in Pensacola, it's just out a little bit, and you can drive through this whole Christmas display. So definitely spreading a lot of Christmas cheer, and it's one of my favorite things to do. All right, and that concludes my video today. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Happy holidays to you and everyone. And if you want to stick around, I have a couple of outtakes and final thoughts. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, this is just amazing, you guys. Crazy. I approve. I, I approve. I just got sprayed up my shorts. Okay, that was... I just, I, yeah, I'm lost for words. I'm here from the big wig. Oh, it happened again. Oh, <laughs> shorts. This day is full of surprises, I guess. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite things to do. Come down to the beach, drive around with my coffee. But yeah, you know, a golf vacation, even in the winter, is so soothing. It's such therapy. I'm impressed and my heart is happy. <laughs> my heart is happy. All right, you guys, I'm so glad um, you came along. I'll catch you soon, you guys.